stop from gushing up? Right now on KCAL and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles, a Jewish man attacked in what's now being investigated as a hate crime. He and his wife sharing their story tonight about being targeted as they walk to synagogue. Hi, everyone. Thanks for being with us tonight on KCAL News at 5 on CBS Los Angeles. I'm Susie Sutt in tonight for Pat Harvey. And I'm Chauncey Glover. We're also streaming live on CBS News Los Angeles. That man had several staples in his head to stop that bleeding. He had to, but the emotional scars, of course, run much deeper. Yeah, the couple sharing their story. So this type of anti-Semitism doesn't happen to anyone else. KCAL News reporter Jeff Nguyen reports on the hate crime investigation now underway. It's exactly on the temple. Rebecca Nissel showed us the four staples on her husband's head and his bloodstained shirt after he was hit with a belt buckle. The couple has been married for nearly 50 years. A blow what hits my husband is a blow to my head. And um, the pain I feel is his pain. My blood started to gush, started to run away. The couple had been walking to their temple for service during the Sabbath. Rafi Nissel believes he was targeted Saturday because he was wearing a yarmulke. He yelled to me, give me your earrings, Jew. The attack happened at the corner of Rexford and Santa Monica across the street from the Beverly Hills Police Department and around the city's network of cameras. Even though Mr. Nissel was bleeding, he chased after the suspect. My husband had such an rage and such anger that he wanted to just catch the guy. A police officer was driving by and quickly noticed something was wrong. All the sirens came out and chased him. I was in a few seconds, he was apprehended. 44-year-old Jara Salaji has been booked on suspicion of assault with a deadly weapon, attempted robbery, hate crime, and elder abuse. Mrs. Nissel is the daughter of Holocaust survivors. Growing up in Austria, her brothers wouldn't wear their yarmulke in public, but she doesn't want her grandchildren to hide who they are. They have to fight for our right to wear whatever we try to. Mr. Nissel says he's not concerned about what's next for the suspect. Instead, he's hoping what happened to him doesn't happen again. He says anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, and all forms of hate and violence should be condemned. Just because I don't agree with you, it doesn't mean I have to kill you and I have to hate you or whatever. So I'd appreciate if the world takes it to a stage where we inform each other and we tolerate each other. In Beverly Hills, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL News.